going live once it loads. Okay. Hi. <laughs> we are live uh, here with Willie D from Richmond, Virginia, um, who frequently is from up here in Charlottesville and frequently comes and uh, Batesville. Batesville, <laughs> close to Charlottesville, uh, frequently comes up and plays here at Album Off Cider Works. And so, uh, hi, Willie. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks so we just me. were thinking of, of some kind of questions and answers and, and talking about uh, kind of how you started out as a musician and where, uh, uh, when did you start playing music professionally and uh, where kind of geographically do you play in the state of Virginia? Well, I started professionally probably like 18 or 19. Um, wow. And then, but I started, you know, when I was like nine and then I picked up the classical guitar and then I switched over to the electric guitar. Um, and that's sort of how I got my start. And then, but I guess professionally it wasn't till I was out of school. I went to VCU and I studied music there. Okay. So I guess, um, you know, after VCU, that's when I started teaching full time and playing gigs full time. So um, about five years ago, four or five years ago, that's when um, that started. Wow. So you started playing and at then, nine. Um... Who gave, who gave you your first guitar? Um, it was probably my parents, but I did have like a toy guitar that I was jamming out. Um, and then I think it became apparent that I needed a, a real guitar with strings on it. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how it got started. <laughs> Uh, did you play music in school? Like, it's obviously at VCU, but in, in middle school or high school, were you part of a band or orchestra? Yeah, I started with the drums, actually, in middle okay. school. And then, I, you know, I played guitar in middle school, too, but that was the first sort of band experience. And then I joined, the, I was in the jazz band as well. Um, so I was in the jazz band, and then... I joined the jazz band in high school too. So, awesome. I, just, yeah. I, I was, I did a uh, choir chorus in middle school, although I was always uh, jealous. I, I did a little bit of piano uh, middle school and high school, but never played it like with other people. It was just more kind of on my own. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chuck's kids also all got put in piano lessons. That was, I guess the way our, <laughs> Hopefully they enjoyed it. <laughs> he did some uh, recitals that I thought were pretty good. Yeah, I, I, you know, you need the long fingers. I actually have pretty short fingers. It didn't really work as well. Mm -hmm. um, so what I uh, just, uh, Chuck had mentioned that actually at some point up here in Charlottesville that you had started out kind of playing kind of on the downtown mall and in different um, spots, just uh, uh, did that lead into kind of the more uh, doing the solo music or was that just for fun? Yeah, I started off busking and I bust at the UVA football games outside mm -hmm. Scott Stadium. And I had a few different locations, so it changed um, during the years. And I didn't, I didn't really know too many chords or what I was doing, but I would just go out there and sing. And I was playing mostly Bob Dylan songs and, um, you know, some Jimi Hendrix and Elvis um, and making up my own songs sort of on the spot too. But I didn't really know what I was doing too much, but it was a good experience and good, good time to be out there. Um, but then I, I moved to the downtown mall and that's, that's when I had more chords and more, um, skill sort of built up over the years. That's when I moved to the downtown mall and, um, yeah, I had, 
you know, I did that for, for a while, and that's how I was able to afford a lot of my guitars and equipment. Um, and, yeah. That's it's how a good to be it started, started, I guess. I, you know, just walking up and down the downtown mall in Charlottesville and hearing different musical acts going on at different times. It, um, it is, especially like kind of late summer, early fall, it's just kind of a perfect scenario. Well, so yeah, you mentioned that you kind of do a little bit of your own music. What What is your inspiration for, um, for writing lyrics? So do you look more for, uh, is it, does it just come to you, I guess? I don't know, like, do you have inspiration for, um, for your, your music? Yeah, I guess I do. Um, it sort of comes in in different ways. Like, I guess, you know, reading books and watching movies and uh, just sitting around, um, catching little phrases um, for lyrics and you know, the kind of, the lyrics kind of gel over time. So um, it kind of is a process, just like the music um, with any song, it kind of takes a while to develop and to take shape. So how long, how long does it take you to write a song uh, from start to finish? Hmm. Or is there like a defined time? Like maybe it just kind of is working its way out yeah, you know, it varies. Some, sometimes songs come in like, you know, 20 minutes. And then other times it's like two years or three months. <laughs> uh, years. So, you know, it's it's nice to get those songs that come in, you know, 20, 30 minutes, but um, they don't always happen. You just enjoy um, whatever process comes. <laughs> That's awesome. I, um... Can imagine it can be frustrating with the two year ones trying to like work it out and without pushing it so hard. But that's quite a long time, but yeah, shorter inspiration, I'm sure. Uh, well, so with your with your music, um, you did, I know I attended a CD release uh, at Ix Art Park. Uh, was yeah. it a, a year ago, year and a half ago? A couple of years, at least. You and I went together, didn't we? I don't know. I was there with Sylvia. I didn't know. Oh, uh, well, it was. <laughs> so, how many albums do you have available? Two. Um, I have three least... albums, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. So, so three: Egg Crack, The Bird Went Wild, Thunder Train, and then the latest one, which is called Only Child. How, uh, I guess, is it one or two years in between albums? Do you have, do you have plans for a fourth album? Yeah, I'm sort of going slow with the next one. I have lots of songs, but a lot of them are band songs. Um, and those are harder to, to record and produce just because mm -hmm. they take, um, uh, financially, they're a little harder to to make happen. Um, but so I kind of have a lot of those going and then I, I have some acoustic songs as well. Um, but yeah, probably I think, yeah, between the two albums, I think it was like three years. Um, the latest one I had like strings and um, different orchestrations. So it was a little more complex. Um, and it was a full band. With the with the potential new album coming out in the future, are you looking at kind of splitting up the your acoustic sing, uh, solo stuff versus the um, the band uh, groups, or combining those all into one album? Yeah, I kind of I kind of just think of it as one thing, even though when I'm in the process of recording the songs. Mm -hmm. um, I do think about if it's a band song or acoustic based song, but for me, I like the blend of the two together as a nice variation. Um, but, you know, it's usually just whatever sort of um, takes shape and takes form. That's what I sort of roll with. A little more organically. So, so I know there's a lot of uh, legal issues, but 
Do you ever do any cover songs on recorded? Or would you? You know, that's, I probably should. Just, I was thinking um, a little E sings Dylan. Since, <laughs> since I'm in the studio, I usually just go with original songs. Yeah. Well, I understand you don't have to pay royalties for them, but uh, I just wonder how complicated that was. I can, well, I guess that kind of brings um, a little bit uh, to the next question. Uh, Willie, who are your favorite artists? Hey, sorry. <laughs> so I guess that, that kind of brings to the next that. question. Uh, no worries. Uh, internet connection. <laughs> My internet's a little spotty. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, with Chuck's questioning, if you would do a, a cover CD of, of Dylan, what? who are your favorite artists? Oh, um, well, I do like Bob Dylan, but I'm also, I like jazz music too. And, um, you know, I also like a little bit of country music depending on what it is um last like you know blues um so i like a variation so it would be hard to sort of go in there and record one artist or one genre of music because i really like the blend of different sounds um but you never know it could happen <laughs> <laughs> but chuck has a lot of pipe dreams about uh different musicians in the area playing different songs and different styles i've got at least one song for every group that plays here just about <laughs> <laughs> oh very cool um he's uh <laughs> building up the collection um I, well you know we've you've been playing here for four years now five years it's been yeah, quite a while, yeah, right. um, and I know you played a lot of different places in the area. I know with COVID, things are a little uh, different, but do you have um, gigs coming up in the next couple of weeks? I don't. You know, I'm pretty, pretty much just a home recording and, you know, a writer at this point, <laughs> um, probably for, for the winter. I'm just going to, you know enjoy uh practicing and writing songs and yeah. um yeah and then i teach i teach monday through wednesday um music lessons so that's that keeps me busy um for for the most part <laughs> and uh so you're based if i recall correctly you're based in richmond correct yeah, I'm currently living in Richmond. Currently, so if and, anyone needs yep. music lessons, to reach out um, and and do that if your schedule is not too full. Yeah, please uh, do if you want to learn. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and hopefully, as the weather warms up and we're able to play outside again, it'll kind of open back up a little bit. Yeah. Um, well, do you are you able to play a song off of your current album? Your um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course. We'd love I mean, to hear it if you're able. We've got a couple people watching okay. and we'll uh, also be posting this after. Uh, while, he, while you're getting set up, just uh, FYI to anyone who's joining us, um, if you go onto uh, Willie D's website, which is WillieD.com, <laughs> so W I L L I E D E.com, and purchase an album. Uh, you'll get a coupon code for Album All Cider Works uh, for an online purchase of cider, um, and it'll be 20% off of your purchase. So uh, head on over to willyd.com in order to uh, own and, and purchase some of this uh, great music. It is linked in the comments on the Facebook uh, Live version. We'll so for YouTube and things. Let's hope my internet cooperates during it's the. It's absolutely <laughs> fine. If it's not, we're all used to it by now, so it's all good. <laughs> but um, this song is called "Goddess of the Evening," and it started off as a love song, but then it sort of transformed itself 
um, when it got to the bridge, it kind of took a turn. So it's kind of a love song, but it's, you know, it, it went a different way. So here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Um, so just a reminder to everyone to head over to willied.com, W-I-L-L-I-E-D-E.com um, to purchase uh, any of uh, Willie's albums. Uh, and with that, you'll get a coupon code to purchase on your next hard cider purchase uh, from Elmore Ciderworks. 
Um, we thank you very much, Willie, for joining us. We're hoping to make this into a little bit of a winter music series. And so thank you for being our first uh, guest star <laughs> for that. Thank you. Um, yeah. And uh, we uh, look forward to the spring and having you back and playing out in the field and enjoying warmer weather. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Me too. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Willie. Just wear your mittens. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Have a great night. Okay.